Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's what you're working on Wednesday. Um, so I'm not actually working on anything right this second. Obviously, I'm making a video. <laughs> but I'm going to show you something that I made yesterday. And I'm going to be making two more of those today. So in, um, well, I'm going to be starting them. <laughs> I don't know if I'll actually finish them. But uh, one of my New Year's goals for 2023 was to make three Halloween themed amigurumis every month from January through October so that by the end of October I'll have 30 amigurumis to leave out on my stoop um, for the neighborhood kids here that live in our cul-de-sac thingy whatever it's called because <laughs> um, there's a lot of kids who live in the apartments around us and um, last year I made uh, I think nine or ten little amigurumis with the candy and all the amigurumis got taken so this year I want to make more so that every kid can at least hopefully get one um, but yeah, so I started that yesterday <laughs> and I made a pattern that I've made before. Actually, when I was almost ready to have June, I made a couple and Jesse has them actually. One was for June <laughs> when she's older and one was for him. Uh, and it's Amigurumi Spiders. Let me look at my notes so I can tell you who it's by. Okay, it's called the No Sew Amigurumi Spider, but I do sew mine. I'll talk about that in a second. And it's by Chicken Soodle Noop. <laughs> And it's a free pattern. I will link it below for you to check out. But this is the one I made the other day, yesterday. And I feel like I made his eyes a little too far apart. <laughs> so um, today when I'm working on them, I will move the eyes in a little bit closer. It's got little cheeks and little fangs. And this one's just made with Red Heart Spring Green. And this is just a little scrap of pink. Oh, I had a little tiny scrap ball. I think it was from that yarn from Terry from the Christmas challenge that we did. But uh, there he is. I think he's adorable. I did make two of these, like I said. I made them out of um, retro straps back in last January. Bless you. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cute. I used the glittery eyes. I don't know if you can see it, but they're silver. Um, so I, I also have them all pulled out, the different color ones for the next ones. I'm just going to look in my scrap bucket and see what I have. And pull out some Halloween-y colors and uh, do that. So the pattern, these are crocheted on. And you're supposed to, you make the legs first, and then as you're crocheting the body, you get, you know, like, so far back before you close it up. You're supposed to, um, you know, stick the, the strings from the legs in there and, like, knot them off or something. Which I did once before with a jellyfish pattern, and it's still, like, when you pulled on it, you could see the two strings would come out. It wasn't, like, 100% attached, you know. Um, so this, I did go ahead. I just made the whole body, stuffed it and everything. And then I did just weave in all the legs <laughs> it took a while you know they each have two strings on but i feel like that's more secure especially if it's gone to kids because you know kids do stuff with it <laughs> fling it around and stuff and um but yeah so there's my first little halloween amigurumi for the year 29 more to go <laughs> what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pick a pattern like this spider and i'm like three of them so like in january i'm gonna make three spiders and then in february i'll find another little pattern and make three of those and uh just mix the colors around and try to make different things all year all year all you know through most of the year practically all year and then by halloween i should have at least 30 little amigurumis possibly more you know if i want to make a whole bunch of something because sometimes i do that i find a cute pattern i like and i go crazy with it um but so i'm excited so i'm gonna make two more of these i'm gonna start them today they are really quick patterns i did make this one in one setting yesterday but uh i don't know we're gonna be busy today i gotta, I gotta go grocery shopping i got like three loads of laundry to do I gotta clean up the kitchen bag because we went to bed last night with it. Not nice. So I gotta do a lot of stuff today and uh, gotta do Jesse's schooling and everything. So I don't know if I'll be able to squeeze in like time to sit down and crochet for a while, <laughs> but I'm gonna try. So let me know down below what you guys are working on because I love to see what you guys are working on and uh, share any links or anything like that. Let me move this. I got, I got clutter everywhere. <laughs> And uh, feel free to share any links and stuff or people's names or anything like that. And I will see you in another video. Again, that pattern will be linked below. I can't remember. I think it's a free PDF. I think so. I think it's a thing I downloaded onto my phone. But yeah, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.